right, I want to talk about how you can pass functions from one component to another in React. So this is a very important thing to know how to do because oftentimes you're going to have state that exists at a higher component and a lower component is going to be triggering something to happen in that state. In this example here, I've got a series of person objects right here. You can see that I'm creating a bunch of these person objects. That's what this box is right here. A box, it's got a label, it's got a number, it's got a button. That is being repeated down my page. I'm using the array map method. I'm going through this people array that's inside the state up at the top level, at the app level. So I'm looping through this array, generating these objects, but the button that I'm going to click is inside of here. I want to be able to click on a button that is inside of this object, and I want to change the value of state up here at the parent. So the way we do that is we create the function wherever the state is that we're going to change. So right here, this is the state, so I'm going to create my function here. I'm going to call it increment. I'm going to pass in a person. So this is going to be the person object, something like this. I'm going to pass in an object that looks like that up to here, so I know which person it is that I'm changing, and I know which count to increment. We could simplify this. We could just say, okay, pass up the name, find the matching name, update that one. It's going to work the same either way. We just have to do a little bit of work to find the match. Now, inside of here, we're receiving a name. We're going to loop through this array and find the matching one, and that's the one to update. We're going to be modifying an array. The map method is probably the most appropriate, so let's do that. We'll create a variable called PPL. This is for people. And we're going to take this.state dot people call the map method on this we're using map because map is going to create a brand new array to pass into here we're basically going to be passing this array back into here the only difference is we're going to update one of these counts based on what name is passed in so this will be an object let's call it p for person that's my person object inside of here if p.name, so that's these ones right here, if one of these matches the name that's passed in, that's the count that I want to change. So it'll be p.count, we're going to increment that, and then we return p. So this is one of these objects. Each time we loop through, it's one of these objects that we're passing in here. We're looking for a match on the name. so the p that's being passed in, if its name matches the one that's passed to the function, increment the count that's inside the object that was passed. Then we return our altered version of p, and all of these returned versions are going to go into this new variable ppl. Now I can call this.setState to update our state object here, and its people is going to be replaced with our new ppl. Okay, great. So we have our function here that's going to update this state. But I have no way of calling it from here. There's no button on here that's going to let me do it. That's down inside of person. Let's take a look at person. We're passing in a name and a count. Those are the two variables from the person object. Those are being passed in. So those would be in props. This.props.name and this.props.count. So we're writing out the name and the count on each one. Then we have a button now this button is going to have its own on-click handler. It's going to have its own function here called increment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change something inside of a local state because you're often going to be doing that as well. Inside the nested object, this button, it can be doing other things other than trying to change the state that's up at the parent level. So when I click on this button, I'm toggling this. I'm <clears throat> I'm going to be toggling this from has changed false to has changed true. When I do that, after the first time I've clicked it, I will have updated this. So my conditional rendering right here, I'm checking to see if has changed is true. If it is, then I'm going to add this little span that I've just styled to stick up in the corner here. And on any one of these where I click, after I've clicked the first time, they'll show that span from that point on. 
Okay, so I'm doing something inside of each of the person objects, but I want to be able to update the state that's back up at the parent. The state that's back up here. This function right here, I need to get at this function, the one that's right next to the state, from inside of here. Well, I can pass this just like I would any other prop. If I come down here into my person object, I can create something with the same name, with a different name, whatever I like, and it'll be this dot increment. That's a reference to this function right here. This method exists on the component object, so it's this dot increment. I'm passing that down to the person object. Now, inside of this person object, I will have something called this dot props dot increment. Whatever this name is, this is the name that will be used inside of the person. And I can use that anywhere I like. Where I want to use it is here. So I'm going to say this dot props dot increment. I'm going to call that method. This is the one that exists up on the parent. Now, I do need to pass along the name. So where do I get the name? Well, I can create a reference to this, or I can have a variable where I save it. But why bother with that? I'm already passing it in here. So whatever name was passed to this guy is Bob. That's the one I want to send back. Whatever name is passed to this one, that's the one I want to send back. Whatever name is passed to here, I want to send it back. So just like that. There we go. So now when the person clicks the button that's inside of person, we call the increment method that's here. That will update the state here, which makes the little span appear. Then we're passing the name that was given to us back up to the increment method that's up at the top level. And that is going to make the state change. The state change is going to cause a re-render and it's going to pass down in props the new value of count. So there we are. And this works for all of them. Getting some great component reuse here. And that's it. That's how you pass a function from one element to another so that you can affect a change in one component state from within another component. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that clears up any confusion that you've got about passing functions and controlling state outside of a component. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.